Beautiful. So I'm going to talk about uh, rest stops now. Um, yeah, I come from uh, Australia and uh, you go on any road to anywhere and you see rest stops. You see them everywhere. You'll see scenic lookouts, rest stops, everything. Um, the sad thing is, is that since we started privatising roads and having tolls that we pay for, so we actually get less out of it, um, we're seeing less and less of the... Uh, so I'm just going to make my way around here. Pretty high up, as you can see. We get less and less out of it. I mean, in, in the US, like Texas, a place like that, where I was travelling, I was thinking, my God, you're paying all this money, you know? I paid hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to drive on roads, and it's, they're just there for just doing miles on. There's, you know, there's no rest stops and stuff like that. It's bloody pathetic, to be honest. Um, so, although it is better than, than, uh, than uh, some of the other, uh, the Central American countries, even Mexico and like Baja and Mexico, there's so many amazing places to stop and just look and just take it in. You can't stop though, because it's just road and that's it. There's no shoulder. So yeah, you end up just driving past all this amazing shit, you know. And, uh, but you have to stop. I mean, you've got to stop. I think that, I think two hours riding straight is enough for anybody to just need a 10, 15 minute break and take the break, you know. Um, there's only been a couple of trips I've been on where I thought I've got to, I've got to, I've got to keep going and I did three, four, five, six hours. I think I did one six hour straight stretch, a tank full of petrol, uh, fuel basically. Um, and really, you know, that, that, that's pretty ridiculous, you know. Um, so you, I, I found the perfect medium is about is about two hours. Um, about about two hours. Uh, about about two hours is the maximum you need to. I think that that's the maximum I like to just. Get off the bike, stretch, stretch it yourself. I mean, my ass gets friggin' sore. I mean, real sore after um, after a few hours. Just you just want to just get off, get off the road and. Uh, and just have a look around. If you can get a nice scenic spot to do it in, all the better, you know. So I'm going to be going to Cali. See, this is a beautiful thing about Central and South America. It's even the even the highways are phenomenal. I mean, they're phenomenal for look at. They're, sometimes they're not that great as far as, um, as as far as the services, uh, the service of the road and the, the quality of the roads concerned. But um, but uh, you get great views. Like in America, like I was the first few days from Miami through, I was just dying. I was just thinking, is this does anything happen here? Is it just straight roads? You know. And the thing is, you couldn't. You, you have to. You have to drive the speed that everyone else is riding. And they're all doing they're all doing 85, 90 mile an hour. Because if you don't, you're just continually getting overtaken by people. And, it's, and it can be a bit dangerous, you know. People up your ass all the time. Another good thing to get is to get up on the pegs and just give yourself a bit of a stretch. I don't even I can't even remember looking at this town on the map. It's friggin' pretty big though. But I'm going to have a I'm going to have a break pretty soon, and I need to have a a whiz, whatever you want to call it. Slight right, I think it's called a right actually. That my GPS has said slight right.
Yeah, so um, just make sure you get yourself a rest. It, it feels good to get off the bike and just uh, you know get your eyes wide open again. So that's it for uh, need today before you go. Make sure you get yourself a good rest. And if you have any questions or comments, just add, I'll answer them as soon as possible.